So what's going on YouTube and Halloween fans? Welcome back to the Jeffman316 Pop Culture Reporter Channel. I'm your host, as always, Jeffman316. It's time to talk Halloween ends again. I hope you're not getting tired of it because I'm actually looking forward to the movie even though I complain a lot about it. But hey, they dropped some more, uh, another TV spot and I want to react to it. So uh, what are we waiting for? Let's get into it. Let's go. Like I said, we're going to run this TV spot at normal speed, then I'm going to do it in a slow motion. So um, let's go ahead and watch it at regular speed together. So I know it's really quick. So it starts with that cool little, you know, trick or treat, like it's an homage to the original movie. And then you start with Allison hitting the keys. And then right after that, you get um, Lori with Michael standing behind the tree and she senses him and then he's gone. And then you get this a cool time. shot here it of Corey, and yep, we find out that was Michael. And look, that's this Lori time. sitting outside what I Maybe believe the, the radio station. Is if I die too. Then you get a couple shots we've already seen. That's a new one. And then we get a couple shots here we haven't seen. Michael opening the doors, Lori attacking him, him throwing her, and then what I think is the kill shot. So like I said, let's go back through it real quick, and we'll do it in slow motion. So, like I said, you got Allison. I like she's tinkling on the keyboard, like a, the Halloween theme. And then you got Lori standing outside looking at the house. And then Michael's behind the tree, and then he's gone. So, I like that little stalking action there. And then right here, pretty much confirmed. You know, I didn't know if it would be a hobo or whoever it was down there. That's Michael down in the sewer or wherever that is. And then Lori sitting outside. Look, that has got to be a radio station. It's like a tower with energy coming into it or out of it so are they saying what we think they might be saying and then there's somebody trapped under is that a chain link fence and so um i'm not exactly sure i think though that that might not be michael that that might be Corey killing one of the people that bullied him then there you got some shots of michael slamming down that's from inside the radio station uh, michael taking care of and that that will make people aware I'm assuming it's alive on the air that Michael is still alive. And look, here we got Michael opening up the, uh, look at this right here. He opened up the doors, Lori attacked, and that's his knife flying out of his hand there. Look at that. And then they continue to fight. Uh, he throws her one-handed, so you know that's Michael with the damaged hand. And that's got to be the kill shot right there. I mean, if you look at it, there's no other way to think about that if you do it in slow motion. She's coming right down on his head. There's no way. Um, there's Some people say that uh, there's a version of the film where his good hand gets chopped off by Allison. Somebody's asked me, you know, after 45 years of Michael being so powerful, what could make it to where a couple women, like, kill him in this one? And I'm like, you got to remember, he had all the damage from the last Halloween, and he hasn't probably gotten any care until maybe Corey uh, and Michael find each other. Maybe he gets some care now, but um, Michael is still in really bad shape. His mask is moldy, so he's, look, he's he's not been in, in a really good location, obviously. And so, one of his hands in that one shot, you know, we looked at a couple of videos back, um, when Lori stabs down on his hand and pins it, that hand is basically almost rotten to the core, man. It's, it's probably almost, uh, he can't use it. When she throws her with the one hand, He's literally almost one-armed at that point. He can't do much with that hand. Plus, he's got fingers missing. So, with that being said, I do like the fact you see the knife getting thrown out of his hand. And they're struggling. And I think everything in that last scene of that TV spot is her versus Michael in the epic 15, 20 minutes last scene. And so, um, I do think that it's kind of cool that you only see Corey in this one... Tr uh, TV spot with Michael grabbing him around the throat, but obviously uh, Michael's not going to be able to kill him. Michael's in a weakened state at that point. So I like that the trailer is more like kind of like old school. It's got more of a, a cool Halloween feel to it, um, and it doesn't have all that Corey nonsense in it. So I'm wondering if they're uh, finally getting to the point where every, people are, are like me are saying, why introduce this Corey character? And he better have some really good um, scenes in this movie to make me forget that uh, he's taking up screen time for Michael, Lori, and Allison. So what do you think of this TV spot? Um, let me know, but before we go, I'm going to show you a couple photos here. 
that just really confirm what we've said that Corey is going to be a major character and he's going to be an important part of Allison's life. They show him here. And then also, if I can find a really good uh, shot of it, I'm going to put it up here. This is from the soundtrack that unfortunately isn't coming out until like, oh no, I know the vinyl that I want is not even coming out to January, even though you can pre-order it now. So here's a shot from like the inside cover. And look, for everybody who keeps saying, why are you worried about Corey? He might not be that much of an important character. There's no way he's put, they're putting him on the, in the inside or one of the cover shots, a large one of the, one of the versions of the vinyl LP soundtrack if Corey isn't a major character in this thing. So if you don't think that Corey is going to be probably a third or a half of this movie that he's involved in, I think you're you're setting yourself up to be disappointed with this movie. So I'm to the point now where I've come to the realization that, you know, we might as well get over it. And I really am just going to enjoy whatever screen time that Michael Myers has. So what do you think? Comment about all that down below. Um, like my videos anytime you do. I really appreciate the support you guys have been giving me. Couldn't do this without great people like you watching the videos. Um, you know where I showed you that picture of that, uh, or the clip of that tower in there. Um, I really did do think that there's a version of the film where that tower is really important. And I'm going to post a video this coming weekend. Watch out for it of why I think the tower might be important. And does this video having the tower in there confirm that maybe there is something to that theory about the radio tower being, uh, you know, something that could power Michael. You're going to hear my thoughts about that um, and anything else that I think of along this ride to Halloween ends. So come and join me for that, and hopefully we'll all enjoy it on October 14th. And until next time, boys and girls, this is JeffMan316, your pop culture reporter, signing out saying, you guys be safe out there from the boogeyman.